welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about a package that I just received. So Into the Gloss posted a video with Linda Rodin. It was just a very short two minute or less video where she was talking about her cosmetics line and I was intrigued. I saw the video the day that they posted it so it was like brand new and I immediately hopped on and ordered all of her lipsticks because I was so intrigued. So if you don't know who she is, I will leave some videos in the description box for you below. I found her last year because I stumbled upon a short little video. She was discussing her trip to Italy and why she fell in love with Italy. And that is my number one dream vacation. So of course, naturally, I fell in love with her. So Linda Rodin is this woman with the most fascinating style and she just has an extraordinary philosophy on life and I just find myself feeling so inspired by her. She's so fearless about everything in life. She has just become the epitome of who I want to be when I am a woman of her age because she is the type of woman who has truly lived so far and has really created a story for herself. So she has five lip liners and then five corresponding lipsticks. She only created five because she truly believes you only need these five colors for day-to-day -day wear. And I think that's incredible because obviously as a makeup lover and someone who's constantly keeping up with trends, you end up with a lot of products, especially lipsticks. So I think that it's incredible that she just wears these five lipsticks every day. I think it's so cool. So So Mod is just like this light baby pink. Okay, I knew the packaging was gonna be cool, obviously, because I could see what it looked like online, but honestly, holding it in my hand right now, I mean, this is luxury lipstick, if you ask me. Oh, it's incredible. So what also is really, really awesome about her five lipsticks is that she created each color with a meaning behind them. So, so mod is simply because she was living through the 60s and this was the general mod color that they were wearing in the 60s. So right off the bat, the pencil is really creamy and it's really comfortable to apply. It has a really, really nice smell to it. Let's go in with the lipstick. I just can't get over this clear packaging. It's incredible. You can see how much lipstick you have left. It's just everything. <laughs> so typically, this is not a color I would choose, but I love this. I mean, I really love this. It feels so creamy. It smells so, so good. So far, I'm super impressed. Winx is a hot pink color, but she named Winx after her adorable gray poodle. So I don't know if it's because I've gotten to know her more because I've watched so many interviews on her. So I've come to understand who she is as a person a bit better, but somehow I truly can see why she would name this color Winx. Wow, <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, generally I would never wear a lip liner on its own because I feel like they're too sheer a lot of times, but this you could absolutely wear on its own if you wanted to. Wow, I love this one. Oh my gosh. This is so incredible. I've come to realize in life that people are going to stare anyways. So why not be bold and daring, you know? I'm just visualizing the outfits that I could style with this. So as you can see, it definitely did stain my lips a bit. They're definitely darker than normal, but that, that totally happened. So now we're going to try Tough Tomato, which looks to me as if it's a true orange. And if there's anything you guys need to know about me for spring and summer, I adore orange lipsticks. I just think they're unique. Not that many people rock orange lipstick. I love it. So let's see. That is so cool. Okay. I love this. She named this one Tough Tomato just because she calls herself a tough tomato, which I think is adorable because too many people are tough cookies. I like tough tomato. Oh, wow. I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. 
I'm just in awe. I mean, for one, the formula in these lipsticks is incredible. They are so pigmented. They are so creamy. So I think I'm going to go in with Billy on the bike. So Linda's mom's name is Billy, and she said she can remember clear as day in the 50s her mom riding around on a bike that was the exact color of this. It's just so unique. A lot of products don't have stories behind them. I love this. So this is like a really, really nice mix of purple and pink. Okay, this is a truly cool shade because I don't think I've really seen anything quite like it. This is just really cool. I mean, I could totally see wearing this all the time, just this color. So the lipstick is interesting because it's a bit darker. So let's see how it turns out. Wow, that is so cool. It's definitely more purple now, but it still has those hot pink fuchsia undertones. So again, that shade stained my lips, but things like that I'm not mad about because if I'm gonna wear a bold lipstick like that all day, the only time I'm going to take it off is once I get home and I don't really care how my lips look once I'm home. But it just really goes to show how pigmented they are so that's great for wearing it throughout the day. So the last shade is Red Hetty. She named this Red Hetty after the scientist and actress Hetty Lamar. She just said that she was fascinated by her and that she just found her really compelling so she just dedicated a shade to her. Which I think is awesome because I just love seeing women support other women. I just think it's so important, especially in today's society, that women lift each other up. <laughs> okay, I was definitely messy with this one. I really like it because it's not too dark. It's totally wearable for summer, but it's also not super bright either. It's just a very nice in-between, and I really like that. Now the lipstick is a little bit darker, so we will see how much darker it does make it. Okay, I love this even more now, because looking at it in the package, it definitely looks like a darker red, so I was a little afraid it would make it too deep for my liking for this time of year that is, but it just made it that much more vibrant and true red. I am in love with all of these. I have not been disappointed at all. So honestly, if you are the type of person who really does not like if your lips get stained a bit from lipsticks, I probably wouldn't get these, but I personally am in love with these. I can't decide which is my favorite, I loved all of them, honestly. So just to close in on this, the thing that I really love about Linda is that she just wears bold lipsticks and she doesn't wear any other makeup with it. I just think that it's such a bold statement to make wearing only bold lipsticks and no other makeup, but I think it's incredible. She accessorizes a lot, so she's always got rings galore and jewelry and the coolest glasses and sunglasses and she is just such a style fashionista and so she basically uses these lipsticks as an accessory as well. I'm so happy with these and I'm so happy that I got to share these with you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and sort of just saw that it is possible to rock bold lipsticks. If you want to wear a bold lipstick then do it because nobody's stopping you but yourself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a big thumbs up if you did, and I highly, highly recommend you go watch the interviews that I'm going to have linked in the description box because you will fall in love with her because she has really created this amazing life for herself and she has just the most fascinating stories to tell. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you very soon in the next one.